Hey, and welcome back to another shaving video with Dylan. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Cremo Lathering Shave Cream. This is the Reserve Brent, a blend that they came out with during Christmas. It was part of a box set where you got the soap and then you also got the brush, which I do have the Cremo brush as far as as well. The brush as far as I do believe it's made with horsehair. It's a nice brush. I've um, never used a horsehair brush before, so this will be a new experience. The soap, to me, um, it says that it has notes of bourbon and oak. Um, I smelled the oak really heavy as far as on the nose. Uh, I smell the bourbon as far as kind of an undertone, but it's, I smell cedar, like, which I know that's probably the bourbon it's coming through. But it is a lovely scent. And this is a cream. This is the first time I've been, I'm going to use a cream as well. As far as the razor that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using the Micro Touch. This is uh, the As Seen on TV, um, sponsored by the Palm Stars. Um, I actually started with this razor, and I've had it ever since. And it's been one of my go-tos as far as just to throw a blade in since the butterfly is open. And just throw it in there and go. And it's a nice little mild shave. I um, know some people don't really like this razor, but I've never had any problems with mine at all. Um, then also I'm going to be using a Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge. And I believe this is like the 6 shape on that blade. And I hope y'all don't mind again, but I went ahead and I made my lather because I wanted to make the video not as long. It does lather up as far as pretty quickly. Um, it's not really super thirsty, this one. Um, it, it wants the water, but it doesn't need a whole lot as far as to really get it going. Okay, putting it on the face, I can actually really smell the oak more and not the kind of the cedar bourbon smell. It feels really light and airy, um, so it doesn't feel super, super heavy. Um, it's... It's got a very pleasant scent to it. Like if you could smell it, it's it smells really good. So I wanted to do a review on this because it was something that Target offered. Uh, so I know a lot of people were talking about it and I ended up uh, getting this for as a Christmas present from my boys uh, and I just wanted to do a review on it as far as to kind of give you my opinions and thoughts on it as well. If you are new to wet shaving and you've never wet shaved before I actually would recommend the micro touch blade to you as far as the razor because it's a milder razor and it's not as aggressive as some of the other ones that I've tried. I will say, after you get a little bit of the water on it and stuff, the woodsy smell, it's not as overpowering as what it is. It's more of um, kind of if you, it almost has a little bit of a leathery smell to it as well. I mean, it's really, it's, it's different. It's not like that heavy sandalwood that you're used to. Um, it's 
it's heavy on the wood smell, but then it also has a sweetness as, as far as involved too. Have any of y'all ever tried the Cremo as far as the uh, kit and stuff? If you have, what was your thoughts on it? Do you think they knocked it out of the park? Do you think they could have worked on a couple of things? I will say that um, a lot of it went clearance as far as after Christmas. And uh, I actually made a point to go over there and pick some more of it up because I like the smell of it so much. And I want y'all to know as well too, as far as with my reviews and all, a lot of the soaps that I do review as far as on this channel, I've smelled it. I may have used another scent from that company but probably about eight or nine times out of eight probably about seven to eight times out of ten I've never tried that brand or that soap before um, so as far as the first reaction that I give you is a genuine reaction that I have as far as with that actual soap I know uh, there's a lot of YouTubers who try soap and a blade and all for a good week or so. Now, I will try a blade for a while just to get a kind of feel for it. Um, but as far as the soap, I like to have a very genuine, as far as opinion, when I first use a soap. Also, with the brush, um, I might play around and maybe lather once or twice before I go to do a review just so I... I kind of know how it is as far as with lathering. And I know Cremo actually does have the shave creams that's in the little tubes. And I've been interested in trying some of those. I think they have like a, a bourbon as well uh, as far as in that. And I'm thinking about as far as picking up a couple of those to try as far as on the channel too. If that's something you're interested in and you'd like for me to do a review on it, you know, leave a comment in the section below as far as saying, hey, yes, I would love to see you do a review on that. And I will say if um, I'm moving kind of quick with this razor and all, it's because like I've said, I've used this razor for a good two years. So I know how this one is. And this razor is very forgiving as far as with the gap and everything. Um, I've never really put a blade in here where I didn't have like a really decent shave with the way that it actually has the blade exposure and everything and all. So I do enjoy this little razor. So this is um, the slickness of this. It's very slick as far as um, 
whenever you go over it, I will say that a lot of my other soaps that I've tried and everything, like as far as if you, if you were shaving on a budget or someone gave this to you as a gift, you know, this is a nice little gift to give to someone as far as who's just getting into it or either the experienced, you know, razor enthusiast as well, you know, experienced wet shaver. Um, it's not a bad little gift to give them. As far as the slickness, like, after you shave, there's, there's really none. As far as after I shave, I can sit here and pull with my finger, and my finger will actually grab. So there's no still slickness. Now, where the soap is when I go to rub, there's still a lot of slickness. But as far as here, after you shave, there's none. As far as brands like I've used, the Phoenix Accoutrements, um, whenever you get done shaving with them, you still have like a layer of thickness, uh, like slickness and stuff. You almost feel like you can go another pass over, you know, necessarily without having to put more soap on. With this, I would not recommend that because immediately I can feel where it, you know, there's no more slickness as soon as after you pa make a pass. So I will say, as far as uh, not to try to give anything away or anything like that, but um, tune in really, really soon as far as um, I do have another razor that's coming my way. Um, I do have some new blades as far as that are coming my way. Um, I also have a new soap, and um, West Coast Shaving has reached out to me as far as to possibly do a review on one of their new two-toned brush so just keep watching out as far as if it actually happens and everything I will make sure to have the video posted as far as with the review on the brush as far as how it performs and everything as well now as far as on the Cremo brush I know I've talked about the soap and I've kind of went off into a tangent as far as talking about the razor, which I'm not even really reviewing right now. Um, but uh, the brush is actually not a bad little brush. Um, I've never really used a lot of horsehair. Um, the I've used a badger brush before, um, but it was a badger brush that I got off of Amazon. Um, and then I went straight from that to a, a boar hair. Um, so I will be kind of going back through some of my other brushes as far as to kind of showcase some of the brushes that I do have. But I will say I am really excited as far as to be able to try some new products coming in really soon. That's really exciting whenever you have new shaving stuff coming your way. I hope everybody's week's been going well. I know I've had the last couple of days off, so it's been very nice. And then next week, I actually have half of the week off. So <laughs> it's going to be one of those weird things is that I'm going to be coming back to work where, you know, a lot of other people are <laughs> actually getting off for the weekend. So, but I had to take my time so I don't lose it, and I'm glad I was able to take it. But uh, the uh, 7 o'clock blade by Gillette, um, I've noticed as far as the silver blue, in my opinion, actually, it kind of performs a little bit better um, than the 7 o'clock. Now, don't get me wrong, the 7 o'clock 
blade is really nice. Um, it performs well. But as far as just giving the choice between the two, I would definitely sit there and choose the, um, the, the silver, the blue. I really would. The um, 7 o'clock, like I said, it's not bad. But between given between the two, I definitely would sit there and choose the uh, the blue. So honestly, as far as like I was saying, if you were going to pick this up, as far as if you found it for four dollars and fifty cent, like I picked up a couple, <laughs> um, it's worth it. I mean, just to have as far as to give you something different to try. Um, it's very soft. I mean, you can kind of see that you can move it around. It's a very soft cream. Um, the brush is nice. Um, as far as for 450 the brush is worth it as far as you know it, even if you were interested in you know the cremo shave cream and you were just like you know I'm looking for a new brush as far as you know in a pinch the targets by you and they do have this product that brush is worth it I mean you know that horse hair it's actually it's it's this is not a bad little brush as far as you know this is the, like I said, I've done one other lather with it as far as just to see how it lathered. Um, and honestly, with this working with a cream, it actually whipped up really quick um, with the cream. So, like I said, also in the video, I did use my Micro Touch Butterfly Open Razor. This, like I said, has been something that I just... I go to whenever I need a quick shave um, it's just one of those quick ones that I can pick up and I feel like you know I can almost with my eyes closed um, just because of how long I've had it uh, the next razor that I feel like I can do that with would be the Gillette uh, ball tech that I just got just because the two feel so similar um, but the, I have a couple more razors that I haven't shown yet and I have not done reviews on, but I've owned for a while um, and I will be doing reviews on them. And like I said, I do have some more soap coming. I do have a new brand of blade um, and a new razor. Uh, and then hopefully, you know, everything works out and all. I will be doing a review as far as on the new West Coast shaving two-tone brush. Um, and possibly some of their brand of uh, soap as well. But I hope everyone enjoyed the video. And once again, this was a shave brought to you by Dylan. And I'm going to do the poke shave afterwards because I forgot to bring everything to the sink. So y'all have a wonderful afternoon. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you soon.